We're just going to stand here and watch you do this, Jocko. Yeah, no dramas, mate. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Sparrows. Yeah, Sparrow. it's before Sparrows. Uh, we've got the band back together. <laughs> Fantastic four. Yeah. Super early start. Yep. What Johnny you... Johnny said the uh let's say three the three thirty and I was like Whoo <laughs> man where are we going? Three thirty <laughs> Cooktown. No. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> I only joking. <laughs> Alright, well, let's get this boat in the water. <laughs> How you feeling, Sammy? Good. You're really what? close to my face. <laughs> no, it's not close in the GoPro. <laughs> Got our two lovebirds over here. <laughs> We're just discussing whether you, whether we enjoy the smell of petrol or not. Oh, do you do you it. enjoy the pet, smell of petrol or not? Nah. nah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't mind I don't it. Mean, Small mean, amounts. Small yeah. amounts. Jeez, mate, we got this. We're, we're rolling here, mate. <laughs> this is going to make the bloopers. We'll cut champion. that out. Yeah, the bloopers. <laughs> well, we won't be cutting in the cutting in the out. No. <laughs> nah. Oh, very good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in. Got everyone up at Sparrows, and uh, we are going to send it, eh, Rolls? Hundred percent, man. <laughs> don't know where yet. Johnny's. Uh, gonna decide which direction we uh, we send it. It's a bit a touch of wind in the air, hey. Mm. We didn't expect this much. And it looks yeah. like it might pour on us. Really? Well, if you look up, I think uh, we'll be underwater anyway, won't we, for most of it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, we're gonna send it wide and see what, uh, what, what happens. Three quarter day on the reef today. And uh, we've got the band back together. It's Jocko's yep. last session, potentially. Potentially, so. send off. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> Thank so we got to make this one count, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, come join us for the journey. Let's go. <laughs> What's the difference between a tuner and a piano? Yeah, I don't know. What is it? You can piano a tuner, but you can't. Ah, oh, I forgot it. <laughs> <laughs> now that is a good joke. Don't the you can tune a piano, in. but you can't piano or tune it. <laughs> oh, you put me on the spot with the camera. <laughs> nah, you're right, man. Piano. Piano. Jocko is telling jokes here on the side. <laughs> There's definitely fish here, but there might be the tax man sitting just above. Um, I've just been finding with summer approaching, the water's getting really warm. Each week it's getting warmer and warmer at the moment. It's 28.1 degrees, so uh, the sharks could be pretty bad today. We'll drive a drop and see how we go. fishing was pretty slow so we just decided to pull the pin sharks were pretty uh, savage as well and uh, 
just decided to change tactic and move up onto the flats. Just before I roll that clip, uh, I'm just going to roll uh, Riley doing a little bit of a dance for us and some shenanigans that happen, happen on the boat. <laughs> like to have a good time, have a good vibe on the boat. So, yeah, enjoy. <laughs> This side looks so inviting. I, I want to jump in actually and see what's in there. I like all these little nooks and crannies in the reef. <laughs> That's like purple coral over here. <laughs> yeah, it's so beautiful. Yeah. See, that's purple as well. You can come this way a little bit just in case you do get a hit, you're going to end up getting dragged. <laughs> Straight over the. Oh. There you go, keep going. Go, go, go. Go, Summer. Yep, that's it. Nice work, Summer. And what do you reckon it is, Summer? I don't know. Maybe a little <laughs> trout. <laughs> little trout? Oh, yeah, he's not little. Let's sit back for a sec. Oh. Watch your toes. <laughs> Summer, are you serious right now? <laughs> That's crazy. Is that your biggest top water trout? My first one. Oh, it's your first trout. Yeah, you this is only the second oh. one I've ever done top water. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, just hold it up next to you and just make sure if he flicks off, keep those hooks away from you. Yeah. Hey, oh. Talk us through it, Summer. Your first top water trout? Yeah, first top water trout. Um, this is actually the second time I'm been top water fishing. <laughs> Last time I got my GT and yeah. now this little cutie. Oh, that's um, awesome. See, so yeah, stoked. Ah, uh, well done. Beautiful awesome little fish. Him. Good effort. All right, we'll keep casting. Yeah. Summer got the first fish, guys, so <laughs> she's out fishing us all. Anyway, we're going to keep casting and see if we can catch up the summer. Strap! <laughs> go, Riles, go, Riles. Keep going, mate, keep going. <laughs> yes. <laughs> away from me, buddy. Nice work, Riles. Not today. Oh, hey. ready. He's on. Done. He's not going to let Summer beat him. No, nah, no chance. Not I today, you, mate. She's got, you, you're being a gentleman, Look, you're giving her a head start. I am. But hers is bigger. She's still. <laughs> hers is bigger. Jocko, are you trying to stir trouble out here, mate? Yeah, you don't even get a fish right well, well, I hope, I hope no. you're trying to stir trouble, mate. I am. Always. <laughs> uh, ooh, make sure you watch your fingers, my friend. Not big by any means, but. It's a good start the to the day. That's right. Absolutely, mate. Monkey's off the shoulders. Got more than me. <laughs> Beautiful guy, hey. Yeah. You never get sick of those colours, do you? Nah, man, they're gorgeous. Let's see if he'll cooperate for us. Oh. <laughs> Swim off the other direction. Yeah. Okay. All right, Jocko, go rescue this lure, mate. <laughs> oh, nice work. boys and I were all fully suited up now just about to jump in the water didn't really have too many plans today we sort of chopped and changed between three different things and we've uh, decided to just jump in the water after summer got a lure snagged after I threw it in the reef a little bit and then Jocko jumped in and said it looks really inviting so we're all now spearing now <laughs> wish us luck 
Ooh. Cheers. Ooh. Ready? I was born ready, babe. You ready, Jack? You're ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> So my first dive for the day and I see a really nice bluey on the bottom here and unfortunately he's just a little bit spooky and didn't want to bar me and just basically took off. Here Riley spots a really nice cray and sort of just spooks a little bit here and then he grabs it with his hands, tussles with it for a little bit. horn snapped off. So Riley's just checked it and you can see the eggs uh, on the crate and so that's a breeder. Riley just dives back down and drops it back where he found it. Just let me know when you're ready again. So Riley's found this really nice cave uh, with a couple of crays in it. And so I've dived down there. We're working together as a team. It's probably a great example. And I've gone down there and the cray's tucked up on the left corner. We've already done a couple of dives prior to this. Um, and we've checked that there's no eggs on the crays. So I've got a really nice secure shot through the carapace and Riley's trying to extract it for me. I've come back up for air. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, bro. I'll, uh, I'll go get it for you. He's Thanks, bro. Hard. He's deep, man. <laughs> They're deep, bro. <laughs> he was deep in there. <laughs> Here, Jocko's gone down. He was probably down there for a good minute trying to just uh, untangle it, but no luck. And Riley's gone back down and He's obviously got great technique here. He's just taking his time, very patient, and just trying to shimmy it off that uh, little section where it was stuck and tangled. Gets a little bit caught up here, and then uh, yeah, there's a pretty tricky section, and uh, yep, yeah, he <laughs> manages to extract it. Very cool. There we go, team effort in this crack and cray. <laughs> it's a headpiece. Oh mate, it looks beautiful. Uh, just use my discount code, the, Riley the... <laughs> Cray Hats. <laughs> you get 50% off. 50% off. Who's going to get the garlic butter? <laughs> for the first 10 orders. Uh, SPF 50. It's the new Aussie mullet. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so the first reef that we dived, all the fish seem to be really spooky and you can see that you know there's some reef fish here just in front of me and they just all scatter as soon as you get close uh, and that, there was a trout that I was following but everything was just really spooky so we moved on. So here Riley spots a really nice trout off the surface and manages to get a good shot on him. Now's your chance to shoot a good fish because they're all hanging around. Riley dives back down to extract the trout, sort of wrapped around a bommy and really got itself in a good knot. Nice work, Sama. Haha, <laughs> not my fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, almost looks like your fish. Good job. He was so wrapped around the rock over there. Yeah, are you seeing much down there at all? Or? Yeah, I've seen actually heaps of fish. Okay. Yeah. But anything you guys can shoot? Yeah, I've seen a couple of big tuskies. Serious? Which, yeah, I like. Black spot tuskies? Yeah. Oh, I might have to jump back in. Yeah, it's pretty cool down there. Is it clear? 
It's like not super clear, a little bit murky. Okay. Um, ah. How stung, big? Stung how big? Sorry. Stung me. Wait on your finger or your face? Yeah. Come, come over, bro. Come over. Whoa. Just come straight over, bro. Oh, don't know what that is. Jeez, that feels like some fire. Here Jocko spots a really nice cray and you can see Jocko just takes his time. He's just looking to make sure there's no eggs uh, that the cray is carrying. Obviously sustainability is really important and you don't want to be accidentally shooting uh, female crays. So he's lined up the shot, got a really nice shot there. Wasn't getting off. A bit of a tip as well, if you're looking at crays, if they've got their tails curled in, they're usually protecting uh, eggs, I've, I've noticed, but usually when they're quite spread out, typically, you know, 99% of the time, they don't have any eggs that they're protecting. I can't believe you stuck it out, Hunty, you've done well, man. Oh, I don't... I give up easy, right? Yeah. Jocko. Nice. And a I'm super stoked with the kill shot. Yeah, straight through. Brained uh, him. It's yeah, a fatty. Found him. That's the gift for the skipper. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. got Johnny's name written all over it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. The other one from before. Oh, look at you, Jocko. Oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm halfway suiting up, bro. I only am. <sighs> yeah, I saw this one the moment, or presumably this one. Either that or there's another big one hanging around over there. Just like, seconds after I shot this and so I reloaded tucked mate. him in here safe and top effort Jocko safe and safe and very safe. proud of you mate thanks Look mate at, uh, very proud of you oh, to make the most of the yeah. potentially last trip yeah after being Brody for a while I decided to jump back in the water and spot a really nice trout just in this purple bommy here got a nice shot on him he wasn't getting away <laughs> There's a shark that comes in here and then Riley spots some spanglies that he wanted to shoot and the shark's just bolted. That's the biggest school spanger I've ever seen. Big spanger. Oh. Here's a nice blue spot coral trout. There's a couple of really nice trout on this section of reef. I noticed he had a nice shot on him. Here we can see a whole bunch of uh, bump-headed parrotfish. They're pretty cool, <laughs> especially up close with their big humps on the head. Riley's just shot a really nice bangly and then he's called me over because he's seen a big bluey just circling down below. Um, he's already shot uh, his gun, so he's called me over. Dive, dive down. I try not to dive directly on the bluey, and so I, I sort of landed a couple of meters off. And I see these really big, <laughs> what I thought was Spanish at the start, but they're just big barracuda. And then I spot the bluey. Get a really nice shot on him and he takes off around the corner. Followed him for a little bit and then I sort of just let go of the gun. I've come back up for air. Riles has just gone down to check on it. Jocko! It's a massive bluey, Jocko. I tried my best, bro. You did it! I think I've got him, but I don't know he's got off. No, he's not! Still there? He's still there, I just poked the shark off him. Yep. That is a monster, but I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. Hey? 
I don't think I'm going to be able to kill him. That's alright, I'll try and get him. So I'm diving back down. Just to have a look and see where the uh, where the blue is at, and he's really tangled up down there. So it took Jocko and I quite a few dives to sort of untangle him. You can see from Jocko's cam, you know, it's a massive bluey, and we were super pumped, and we we're just hoping we weren't going to lose it. and decided to go back down and just put another second shot in his head just to make sure he wasn't going to get away. Now Jocko, he's the youngest of us all, very fit. <laughs> He's uh, gone back down for the final dive and brought up the bluey, so happy days. <laughs> yeah, boy! This is my PB bluey. Riley spotted him after he shot a big spangly and uh, I went down there. I've been throwing up in between dives, so a bit of a surprise that I actually managed to get him. <laughs> when I shot him, he took off around the corner. I followed him as best as I could and uh, he sort of went under a cave, sort of let go of the gun as you would have seen. And uh, Jocko, we did multiple dives between us and got down there and managed to shoot and land I, I, shot, I put another shot through him through the top here just to make sure we secure the fish and uh get him up but yeah super stoked after losing one the other day um, which was about this size really really stoked and uh gotta give a big shout out to ryle he's just hiding over there but uh thanks mate that you're was a, all you man all you, i did was spot it no nah, the rest you're a champion bro a thank legend. you so much man phew <laughs> no good Righto, Riles. Take it away again, mate. Take it away, Ernie. Um, all right, yeah, well, we just got out and um, <laughs> of the water we've been in for how many hours, guys? I don't know, two minute account. Yeah. yeah. I reckon we're probably in that four and a half, four and a half hours or something. Pretty spent, incredible conditions. Um, the first blue hole wasn't producing a whole lot, was it? And then uh, Johnny shot us over to the next one, and this one has just been. Yeah, plentiful. Um, we've all bagged ourselves a coral trout. Yeah. We've, all, we've got a crayfish each. A crayfish each, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you've got your PB tuss fish, which is an absolute horse. Absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah, nah, <laughs> mate. Yeah, I was super stoked to land that, and thanks for calling me over after you shot your spangly, mate. That was uh, a fish of a lifetime, especially after I was with Jocko and Gene the other day, oh. and I lost one at that size, so... Mate, it was meant to be. Absolutely. You're an absolute gentleman, mate. No, Thank no. you. <laughs> and it, you wouldn't have gotten it back to the boat unless it was for the, this man behind us, this good looking stud. <laughs> yes, yes, I'll zoom in for the, uh, for the female viewers. See if you're having a watch. <laughs> That's all right. Now, nah, look. It's, um, yeah, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, look, really big thank you. If you've made it this far, really appreciate everyone's support and um, especially these three human beings behind me. Um, it's it's really nice to be able to come out here, experience, you know, the, the Great Barrier Reef with uh, amazing people. So It's all thanks to you, man. Yeah. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you very much. So we're about to punch it back in now and... We've got another half day, three quarter day tomorrow, depending on what Mother Nature does, we'll get back in and check what the weather does. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna punch it back in while the weather's good and call it a day. You. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for tuning Cheers. in. You. Like and subscribe. Yeah, see you next time. Yeah.
Well, good morning, everyone. <laughs> day two, I'm a little dusty today. Spent a big day with Riley and Summer and Jocko yesterday, just diving out on the reef. Pretty much spent three quarters of a day diving and I uh, ended up landing my PB Bluey, which was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, my mate Jake and Leon, they've flown up and Leon, Leon unfortunately is a little bit crook, so Jakey's, uh, come over here, mate. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's decided to fly up for a week and so we're staying with the family out in the islands, but uh, we thought we'd just sneak in a quick fish, eh? Hey? Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> it's been a, been a bit of a a windy morning but we're, we're out here and making the most of it so that's it so well, yeah we're just gonna poke around the islands to start with we may We've got all our diving gear and offshore gear to go out wide but uh there's a lot of storms sort of lurking around so we'll just play it safe maybe and see how we go but yeah come join us for the journey let's go <laughs> yep got him mate <laughs> 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 not big small i wonder what he is Oh man, I'll take that first drop. Cold trout. <laughs> Bar cheek. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo. Oh, cheers, Zach. Jackie, Legend, man. <laughs> Woo. Beautiful island cold trout. Nice bar cheek. You can see these beautiful blue bars on him. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> on the uh, squid tricks. Absolutely stunning. Out with a good mate Jake today, so we're gonna do line up another couple of drifts and uh, see how we go. Yeah. Down she goes. Can you see the lines? Oh, something's nailed on the drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're kidding. What is he? Oh, it's a little mackerel, bro. Yeah, a little school mackerel. That's pretty cool. Whoa, don't slip me off. <laughs> oh, making a mess. Oh, he's making a mess. School mackerel on the squid tracks. Gonna get him in the water. Oh, <laughs> he's making a mess. Go, 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 Jake. That's it, bro. That's a good fish, man. You Go, Jakey. You <laughs> Merry Christmas, man. <laughs> That's come early. This is the right color. It's a red, bro. Yes. Woohoo. Bring her up. Yep. yep. Walk back, buddy. Got him. Oh, yes. Island Red Emperor. Woohoo. <laughs> Jakey. Awesome, yes. bro. Oh, that was a beauty. Yeah, that is impressive, man. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. <laughs> and we just got some islands out down here. Look at that. <laughs> nice work, Jakey boy. Right, hey, right, Jakey, talk to me. What's oh. going on, man? I just nailed this guy. This good tricks did the trick. Slightly more aggressive uh, lifts off the bottom. Yeah. And he came on and just bang. <laughs> I had to quickly get him to the top before the taxman kicked in. Yeah, he wanted it. Yeah. Oh, mate, that was a good workout. <laughs> yeah, top effort, man. It's yeah, glass beautiful top. fish. Ah, uh, good effort, bro. Cheers, bro. All right, Jakey. I think my head cam's on now for you, bro. <laughs> get him in. Oh, yes. Woo! Mate, that's a cracker, Jakey. Woo-hoo! Yeah, mate, top effort, bro. Woo! Oh man. Oh, so good. <laughs> well, Jake, you are on fire, mate. There's no stopping you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Stewie, mate, if you're watching again, bud, <laughs> Jake, he's trying to give you a run for his money, uh, for your money, <laughs> with the way he's handling these fish. But, uh, mate, look at that sensational, Jakey. <laughs> Top effort, bro. Thanks, bro. <laughs> so I've spotted a really nice big piece of brain coral, a big bommy, and uh, I called Jake over because there's two blueies sitting off it on the right. So I've dived down, kept my distance so I didn't spook them. This is actually pretty good visibility for around the islands. It was actually worse out on the reef the day before with uh, Summer and Riley and Jocko. So I can see the bluey, not a massive one, but he's sort of just swimming away from me here. 
and line up a shot and it's nice and secure and that other bluey just sort of took off Bro, there's another one there. Who's there. I'll just quickly bring this back. First time spearing the islands with Jake and uh, shot my first bluey around the islands. Not as massive as the one I got the other day, but super stoked. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Tasty little critter. All right, I'm gonna jump back up, uh, jump back in the water, pick Jake up, he's still in the water, so let's see how we go. Ew. The boat is driving off. See him looking at the boat, Jake's still swimming at it. I'm sort of uh, got so many things running through my head at this point, and I look back to land and to the island, and <laughs> just I can't describe the feeling of just helplessness, you know, at this point. And I, uh, you know, I took a good 30 seconds here, so I guess, just to work out exactly what was going on and processing everything on the hop. And I realised that we weren't going to catch it, and so I've turned back and started paddling towards uh, the island. So I've taken a pause here, and I've just sort of looked at Jake and sort of waved him on to tell him to come back and leave the dish the boat. Oh, we've made it to the island, but the boat's over there, drifting towards that other island. Our only hope is to try and find another boat that might be around this corner. Thanks, guys. Sorry. Sorry to bother you. Sorry, mate. Mate, Paul. Do you mind just grabbing that, champ? Yeah, brother. Thanks, man. We really appreciate your help. <laughs> How do we get straight up here? No, there's a duck board in the back. There's a duck board in the back if you need. Oh, this side. So at this point in the video, my camera was actually off. Um, my main focus wasn't to try and film, obviously. Everything was still, uh, had a lot of adrenaline running through us and everything was sort of processing everything on the hop. And uh, Benny drove me up to my boat and got me sort of like 10, 15 meters in front of it because my boat was still motoring towards the other island. And uh, that would just give me enough time to swim to the boat with the boat still powering over so I could catch the swim platform ladder and then jump into my boat and then power it off. So that's basically what I did, but I had the camera off. We are extremely lucky to get back to the boat. If it wasn't for Benny and his crew, we honestly wouldn't have made it back to the boat. We were over there 
way over there. <laughs> Air time. <laughs> Cartons of beer coming your way, champion. <laughs> yeah, yeah you actually you got a cable loose at the front there on it. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Happy to save the day, Thank man. you, guys. Thank you, boys. Stay safe. Go, I'll text man. you on Instagram. Yeah, please, no, bro. Thank you, brother. Anytime, bro. Fully appreciate it, man. That's what we're here for, Dad. <laughs> Absolute legend. Well, that's officially one of the scariest thing that's, things that have ever happened to me. Uh, we were very, very lucky that Benny Crisp and his mates uh, were just, just around the corner when we got to the island. And uh, they, they, they didn't see a single boat uh, the entire time they were fishing around here. So we were extremely lucky. Um, Jake's just gone off to grab all our gear that we ditched on the island. Because we just wanted to go rescue my boat and make sure it didn't hit the other island. Uh, yeah, there's Jake there, he's just come grabbing all our stuff. We live to tell the tale, mate. Uh, only just. <laughs> only just. Give me a hand. Thanks, bro. Okay. No, no, you're right. We're just um, is the man. Hey, <laughs> Feeling like a hero. <laughs> Fucking happy you're back on land. Oh, mate, you are an absolute champion, bro. <laughs> At least I can do ballots. What are we out there for? Yeah. Well, well I'll come at you. let's uh, let's grab the goodies out of the car. Couple of cans or a couple of bottles. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's fucking. Look at look at the water. <laughs> look at this. This is about as bad as it gets. The over here. <laughs> oh, oh, this is gold. Look at this. We were like, where, where that cyclone was going to hit, we're like, fuck. We need to do something about the tins. Uh, it's going to be nightmare. <laughs> Tin again. Oh, <laughs> absolute gold, man. Oh, thanks, brother. No, all good, man. Well done. Put it here, bro. Thank you, champion. Oh, <laughs> the least I could do, bro. Happy you back safe. <laughs> Ah oh, man, you're an absolute legend, bro. I do it again in heartbeat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've just spent the last hour having a good yarn with Benny, catching up with him. He's got a super interesting story in life. Um, we're going to try and catch up for a fish in the coming weeks, eh, hey, brother? Stay tuned, brother. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Stay tuned for this one, but uh, it's gonna be a good one. This bloke's the man, super stoke champion. Hey. Right. Yeah. Woo. It's been a pleasure, dude. <laughs> Enjoy your wife's birthday. Uh, thanks, buddy. All right, lads. See ya. <laughs> hey, he's even posing for us. What's his name? That's Millie. Millie! <laughs> Alrighty. See you, Millie. <laughs> well, a couple of quick things I just want to add. You know, that day, that morning, Jake and I were so close to going out of the outer reef. And, you know, that Minkota remote was most likely going to play out regardless on that same day. And,. You know, it gives me shivers down my spine thinking about if we had have gone out to the reef, uh, how much trouble we would have been in and perhaps I may not have been, you know, be here making this video right now talking to you guys. So, um, you know, like I've said before, it's best, I know so many people out there, obviously I'm not going to mention names for privacy, but I have a lot of friends and friends of friends that I know that dive solo, they dive um, with them in code on spot lock and um, you know trusting technology I've been putting a lot of faith in technology over the last six months uh, and probably not probably not the smartest thing as, as evidence so uh, yeah we're just gonna structure things a lot more smarter moving forward and try to have a dive um, a body and uh, perhaps anchor up if we are gonna dive in, in, in some of the shallower waters and throw the anchor chain and everything out. So I thought I'd just take a quick minute to explain exactly what went on. Jake and I, we were in the water diving together. I put the boat on spot lock with the Minn Kota and for whatever reason, it just malfunctioned and it just basically took off at level nine or level 10 speed, uh, which is pretty much the maximum speed of the Minn Kota. I was, free, I was diving down, I popped my head up and I could just see the boat just powering off. And I screamed out to Jake, I said, mate, the boat's going off. So we both, you know, did our best to just try and power off to the boat. Um, but, you know, we just, we just weren't going to catch up to it and I knew that. 
So we started swimming back towards the island and fortunately we bumped into Benny Crisp and uh, they were just chilling, having a bit of a swim and uh, they were nice enough to take us to the boat and we managed to intercept it halfway before it hit the other island. So really, really lucky and, you know, lesson learned. Um, you know, I try to take every precaution I can when I'm on the water, guys. And, um, and, and those that know me know that that's what I do all the time. And this is a lesson learned, you know, it's not a great way to be diving and definitely it's always best to have one person on the boat to keep an eye on things at all times. Otherwise, you can end up in some serious trouble. So, yeah, um, hopefully it, it, it benefits someone out there, some of you guys watching. Um, yeah, a bit of a scary situation and we're really just thankful. Uh, big shout out to Benny and his crew. Well, Jake and I, we're not really, uh, it, Jake's sort of still throwing some stick baits around while I sent the drone up before, but yeah, I've sort of just lost the mood for fishing after that incident, and I just want to see my family now, so we're going to head back uh, towards the islands, because we're actually staying in Hamilton Island for a couple of days, and uh, we're going to go see our wives and kids and give them a big cuddle and tell them our story but uh we actually did pretty well today fishing around the islands exploring new stuff we got some nice trout jake uh, smashed the reds and nannies this morning and i shot a nice bluey just before as well so can't complain and the boat didn't crash and we're all still intact <laughs> well if you made it this far thank you very very much uh this has been a bit of an interesting episode and really unexpected so hopefully everyone stays safe and We'll catch you guys on the next episode. Cheers.